Okay, so if you've been following this uh, fuel system sort of refurbish, you know that we've already done the fuel pressure regulator uh, diaphragm replacement, we've cleaned out the lines, we've done the fuel rails. Now, um, as I mentioned before, we're going into the fuel injectors. One of the things that you want to keep in mind when doing these fuel injectors is that whether they're salvageable or not, or whether you want to replace them. Now. I looked at this and if you can see here from the detail of the injector uh, you know it doesn't look too good we're talking about 20 years here the um, the injectors themselves are pretty clogged up and I know this is the source of my um, my spark plugs not getting any juice they're not getting any uh, any fuel to the fire so I know I needed to replace these now these are the stock ones what I did was I went ahead and researched on what the options were what I found was that you pretty much have three options. One, you can replace the original ones, obviously do a semi-upgrade, and get a better injector, okay? Option one. Option two, you can also send these in and have them refurbished. Now, it's not just anyone that's gonna do this job, and one of the best guys I found that does this is a, is a company by the name of Fuel Injector Connection. These guys will basically take your injector and they'll refurbish it right they'll clean it out they'll change the o-rings they'll, they'll do the whole shebang if you send these into them the third option is to either buy them new or rebuilt and that's what i decided to do here i did have the option but i figured since i'm in here already and i'm taking them out i'm not going to bother trying to refurbish these i'm just going to go ahead and change them out and one of the good things about these guys that i found at the uh, fuel injector connection is that they will take a refurbished one they'll actually warranty it as well so these things go uh, get warrantied and they send them to you in a nice individual packaging they do the o-rings and they also do the adaptation what i'm gonna install here are bosch 3 24 pounds okay uh they actually take them and they're adapted for the height of the injector so let's take a look real quick here okay i'm gonna take one of these out Notice they're, they're nice and clean, okay? Pretty new, nice little nozzle, okay? Clean, bigger nozzle. All right, so we're talking about more fuel, and it's definitely an upgrade from the original that the car came with stock. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, yeah, but you know what? You can go in the 30 plus range, etc." And you're absolutely right. Uh, they do have them as well, but I'm not going down that route yet. First, I want to get this car running. I want to make sure that this car is working. And then I'm going to look into tweaking it, you know, trying to squeeze out some more horsepower from this car between the plenum and the runners and the intake and the exhaust, etc. So for now, what I really want to do is I want to get this car running and it's going to run better. Now, remember, if you're changing out the injectors, you're probably going to have them uh, on stock but even then these are better these are going to function much better if you go online to these guys website and i'll give you the link in this video if you go online to these guys website then you're going to see uh the difference in the different injectors for this car and again we're talking about a corvette c4 but they carry other other ones and they run a test so go ahead and check out their videos and you'll see the test the comparison test and then you can decide which route you want to go so the next step now is actually installing these guys Okay, so we're here back on the engine block and we're looking, I've cleared the cables here for the actual uh, the in injectors themselves and I have the injector in hand. Now one of the things that you want to keep in mind with these injectors is that it, the, it does call for them to be lubricated a little bit uh, prior to installing them and the reason is you want to make sure that you're not going to damage the o-ring or anything like that in the process. The other thing you want to do is when you're installing them is you don't want to twist, okay? You don't want to twist and ram them in there, okay? You want to be gentle, right, guys? Gentle. And what you want to do is you kind of want to just rock them back and forth until they pop in. Now, one of the other things you got to remember is these are adapted so that they seat at the right height from the factory. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that in this case, for the Bosch 3 designs, these need to really go in before you put them on the fuel rail okay so these go into the first into the block and then they go into the fuel rail the reason being is that these things 
uh, are made a little bit differently from the Bosch 2 designs, okay? So you wanna make sure that first these go in and then the fuel rail goes on top. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first, okay? Remember that the, uh, the connection side goes first and yeah, you wanna gently just kind of rock it in, okay? And make sure it's seated properly in there, okay? For the time being, I like to leave the cap on before I put the fuel rail system on. Um, just helps to avoid any damage, things of that sort. You also want to make sure that prior to installing those injectors that the area is clean. I did a little bit of vacuuming, um, just cleaned up a little bit of the beer around there. And you remember there's a lot more oil on this section, so I cleaned that as well. Okay, so I'm going to continue on down the line and we'll see how that progresses. Okay, so we've set all the we've set the injectors in and now we're going to get ready to place the fuel rail system, okay? And you see I've cleared some of the cables out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go about setting this in here, okay? And you want to kind of be careful with this, right? Should set right in. Okay, you want to make sure you got everything lined up to where it should go remember all of this is pretty precise okay pretty um pretty steady here as to where everything goes you want to make sure everything lines up just about right and it should pop right in i mean you shouldn't really have any trouble um oh, i put these in the wrong direction um i'm going to change those around hold on a second here and I have to turn these around. Should set right in. Use your thumb a little to kind of guide it in. Okay, and you'll see that. It kind of just falls right in. All right. Again, looking here. And they should fall in relatively easy, okay? You'll see here, kind of file, fall right into place. Then we'll start bolting this down. Start kind of bolting this down and make sure that we get everything secured on there. Um, as the manual says, reverse. Now one of the things you want to make sure, and we'll go through this again, is you want to make sure that before you kind of put the plenum back together, and everything else and the intake you want to make sure that you're getting the right amount of fuel in here um, and that the fuel pressure is right that you don't have any leaks and that sort of thing so that's one of the next things we're going to be testing so we're going to connect the fuel we're going to connect the fuel lines back on and then we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and just give it a test charge the system and then make sure we got fuel going into those lines